Hi, I'm Nigel, and this is Nigel Goes to Space. Since I was a kid, we've lost a planet. That sounds a bit careless, but when I was young, we had nine planets in the solar system. Now there are only eight, and it's Pluto that got the chop. That decision was made by the International Astronomical Union in the year 2006. But why? Plenty of people ask me, what happened to poor little Pluto? Because we love Pluto. And the answer is, first of all, it has always been the smallest of the planets, a lot smaller than the next smallest planet, Mercury. It orbits beyond Neptune, which is a giant world. And for a long time, it was the only world out there. But starting in the 1990s, astronomers have been finding literally thousands of objects out there, icy objects like Pluto. And we eventually found something called Eris. And that's a world the same size as Pluto, but actually heavier. So if Pluto is a planet, then Eris has to be a planet. And we're going to find more objects out there which are the same size or bigger than Pluto. So we had to make a decision. Do we call all these things planet? So Eris is planet 10, the next is planet 11, we might get to planet 20, planet 30, planet 50. Or do we say that things beyond Neptune are all parts of a rubble belt, a bit like the hundreds of thousands of asteroids that go around the sun between Mars and Jupiter. This outer belt we call the Kuiper belt and is full of objects like Pluto. So the decision was made to say Pluto is just one of these Kuiper belt objects along with hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of others and would restrict the name planets to the much bigger bodies that lie closer to the sun. Whatever we call it, Pluto is an amazing place. The picture sent back by the New Horizons probe has shown it to be a world unlike any other. So Pluto does have a unique place in our solar system. To find out more about the universe and the rest of science, Subscribe to Naked Science channel and do join me for the next episode of Nigel Goes to Space.